Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a 24 hour reading vlog, which I am so excited about. I am in a huge reading mood at the minute. I was not for a while, hence the lack of content on this channel. At the moment, all I want to do is read, all I want to do is cozy up on rainy days, put on an ASMR video and just read to my heart's content. So I'm very excited for this 24 hour reading vlog and it is a 24 hour reading vlog but it is a 24 hour reading vlog with a twist because I am setting myself the challenge of seeing how many of the selection series by Kira Cass I can read in the next 24 hours. I'm feeling pretty optimistic. I feel like I could get through a good few of these. They're not very long, like the first one is less than 350 pages. The font's pretty big. The story I think is going to be a really fast read. They're not going to be particularly intellectually written. So I feel like I can race through these. I'm aiming for three minimum, hoping for more and I am prepared for less but I'm hoping for three, I'm hoping to finish three in the next 24 hours so we shall see. I do know that there are plenty of rant reviews and bad reviews going around booktube and goodreads and everything about these books and I'm not sure why I've tried to stay away from them. I don't want to know anything before I go into them. I'm not sure if it's because they're problematic or if they're just not particularly good books but I am trying to go into it blind and just form my own, own opinions as I read them and yeah I feel like they're just going to be like a little bit of a guilty pleasure. Like I said they're not going to be particularly intellectual or anything. I think they're just going to be a good fun read hopefully. From what I can tell the first book anyway is about basically a competition where all of these young women enter to try and win the heart of the prince and I'm assuming they compete in terms of beauty, finery, all that jazz but the main character America Singer which is a very interesting name. Doesn't want to enter, she is already in love with someone at home, she's perfectly happy where she is but for some reason I'm assuming she has to enter and then she meets the prince and I believe falls in love with them and then everything changes. So it says on the back it is reality TV meets dystopian fairy tale and we all know I absolutely love a dystopian novel, it is my favourite genre and I'm also rather partial to some reality TV, it is my guilty pleasure so I'm hoping to enjoy these. But it is just coming up for two o'clock now which I know is a really random time to be starting this. I had planned to start at 12 but ended up having just quite a slow morning which is annoying but was necessary. So the plan is to start reading at two o'clock and see how many of these I can get through before two o'clock tomorrow. So I'm going to start reading in a minute but before I do that if you could please hit this video with a like that would be hugely appreciated because it really supports my channel and if you're new here then don't forget to subscribe for more bookish content from me. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Okay so I'm just about to start reading the selection but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto the Forest app on my phone which I do use quite a lot. I find it really helps to just keep focused when I want to get a good chunk of reading done. It keeps me off social media basically. You just plant a tree and you set a timer for however long you want to stay focused and in that time you cannot go on your phone off the app onto anything else or the tree will die. So I do use it quite a lot when I just want to stay off social media and focus on whatever usually it's reading. I used to use it a lot in uni to get like assignments done and things. But I'm going to do it just now. I'm going to set a timer for 30 minutes and I'm going to see how much reading I can get done in that time so I can kind of gauge how fast these books are going to be to read and hopefully feel optimistic about this little challenge that I've set for myself. <laughs> I've done my first 30 minutes of reading and in that half hour I managed to read 50 pages of the selection which is good if I continue at that sort of reading speed. It should take me like about three hours to read each book I guess and considering I've got 24 hours it's looking good for how many books I could get through 
but I need to keep in mind I need to sleep, I need to eat, I need to leave time for my concentration going off and things like that. So I'm not getting too hopeful just yet, but I'm still aiming for a minimum of three books. Um, but I am really enjoying this so far. Weirdly, because I've hit, like, like I said, there's so many rant reviews and bad reviews out. Like obviously I'm only 50 pages in, so much could change, but so far it is really intriguing. I love the sort of like political, social system in this. It really reminds me of The Hunger Games because everyone is in like a tier of society that is numbered so you're like a one a two a three down to eight with one being like royalty and eight being like the lowest of the low and depending on what number you are there are laws and rules on like what job sort of jobs you could do and like how much money you can earn and things like that so that people tend to be in their number like the only way you can really change numbers probably through marriage i don't really know yet unless maybe there's some lucky people that manage to save up money and things like that but the main character america is a five but she is in love with a six so they have to hide their love because it'd be hugely frowned upon for them to marry because women should never marry down a number or a cast I think it's called a cast they should always be trying to marry up so if anyone knew they were together her family would be totally against it but we've just got to the bit where obviously she what happened was they sent out letters to all women in the country who were like between 16 and 20 I want to say and then they then had to fill out a form to apply to be part of the selection so her family wanted her to do it so she did it even though she has absolutely no interest and doesn't believe for a second that she'll even get into the competition never mind win it and then we just got to the point where they announced on tv all of the 35 girls who are going to be part of the selection and go and live there and compete for the heart of the prince and i'm really excited to see where this goes like it is i didn't realize it was properly reality tv like the whole selection process the whole competition is on tv for everyone at home to watch so everyone can see like what girls are doing well and who the prince is falling for and so on and it's a proper like reality tv competition to win and become the like prince's love and then eventually the queen or whatever which i find so interesting it sounds like the bachelor which i've actually never watched but i feel like i might watch after this because like i said i am quite a fan of reality tv as bad as it is i just think it's so easy to sort of switch off to like you don't really need brain cells to watch reality tv it's just like really entertaining so yeah i'm assuming this is kind of like what the bachelor is like like all these women competing for the heart of the bachelor so yeah, I think I'll have to watch that after that this and see like the similarities. But I'm really enjoying this so far, so I'm gonna get straight back to reading and hopefully race through another huge chunk. Hi friends. So I just stopped for a little bit of lunch, but I am now on page 119 of the selection. It is currently four o'clock. I'm almost at the halfway mark of the first book and we're only two hours into this little readathon thing that I've set for myself. So still feeling very optimistic. These are such a quick read. Like, honestly, I'm just racing through it and I'm still really enjoying it. I'm really interested. America's just had her first little encounter with the prince and that was very interesting. I can see where this is going. I feel like it's going to be very cliched and very predictable but entertaining all the same and yeah I'm just really intrigued to see how things go. So I'm going to settle down now and hopefully race through the rest of this one and move on to the second one. So I'll give you an update when I next have something to say. Hi friends so I've just finished book one the selection. It is half past seven so I'm a little bit behind schedule I had hoped to have read a little bit more by now I think based on our earlier calculations but it's fine I'm enjoying my time so far I really like this one I am really intrigued obviously it has its problems but it's kind of supposed to have its problems because it's obviously it's a dystopian novel so it's about those issues within this society particularly gender issues and class issues which I'm finding really interesting to read that's one of the main reasons I always love dystopian novels and I really like the main character America I really like reading all about her and her reactions to things and I also really love the character of the prince like I love how he comes across and his sort of like ideas of morality and how much he cares about certain issues and things like that so yeah I'm totally falling in love with Prince Maxon has to be said but yeah the ending is it didn't end where I thought it was gonna end it ended before that so it's not a huge spoiler basically at the end of this one the competition's still going on and I kind of thought like it might be over by the end of this one I don't know the competition's still going on there's like six girls left that have been chosen and they are the elite so they are the six ones 
that are like the last in the running and I think they get more like compensation or like more rewards or whatever for still being in that part of the competition. So yeah, things are getting a little bit complicated. We've got someone who's just arrived at the palace who is kind of going to mess things up a little bit but I have faith that everything is going to work out how I want it to work out. So yeah, I'm going to go and make some dinner just now because I haven't actually eaten any dinner yet and I'm usually one of those people that has their dinner at like five, six, so half seven's pretty late for me. So I'm gonna have some dinner and then I'm gonna start the second book, which is The Elite. And hopefully I'll enjoy this one just as much. And I definitely want to get this one finished tonight, obviously, hopefully within the next few hours. This one is 323 pages. So it's like three pages less than the selection. So we're going on that basis. It should take me five hours max. I'm hoping less than that. So yeah, first dinner, then I'll read this one. It is a little bit later on now, it is 25 past 10 and I am on page 163 of The Elite so I'm just about halfway through really and I'm really enjoying this one as well. This one has a lot more action to it I'd say and it's a little bit more, not graphic but it's a little bit darker than the first one which I find happens a lot in like dystopian series. Usually they get darker as they go on. I find it really interesting in that obviously this is supposed to be set in the future in like America or it's now called Elia um, after four world wars and like this whole new way of life, this whole new society and government and everything. Um, but a lot of their ways of life are actually very backward and like the punishments for certain <sighs> crimes are very backwards, like sort of like flogging in the streets and things like that. Which again, it gives me Hunger Games vibes. And what also gives me Hunger Games vibes is the little love triangle going on in this, which is <sighs> quite annoying because but I'm always like that with love triangles like I really find them difficult to read because I just find them infuriating because I always always have one person that I prefer that I want whatever character to be with so whenever they're like going towards the other one it just infuriates me and this is exactly the same I know who I want her to be with but she keeps seeming to like make up her mind one way and then something happens and then she makes up her mind the other way and it's annoying me. But I still have faith it'll work out the way I want it to work out. But yeah, right now I am going to take my makeup off because I've had this on for far too long today. I'm gonna get into my jammies, maybe get a cup of hot chocolate or something like that. And I'm gonna try and finish at least this one tonight. We'll see. until just after midnight last night finishing the elite and as I said I was really enjoying it I did continue to enjoy it up until the end I'm really loving find out more about the political system and the justice system and just how messed up it is which is infuriating in many ways some of the characters in this that are championing it are just evil <laughs> I can't stand them and I want them out but there are also some glimmers of hope in some of the characters in this who see through it and see the holes, see the problem. Um, we've got certain like central characters who obviously have more compassion and more morality. Um, and then there's also like, as in 
that is in most dystopian series there's like a rebel group who seem to have like other motives that we don't know everything about just yet which is really interesting I really want to know what's going on there also by the end of that book it kind of looked like that love triangle that was annoying me had come to an end and she had finally decided on her man for sure but it seemed like that a couple of times throughout that book then she'd switch back again so I'm not sure how hopeful I am that that's completely over and also there is another love triangle on the other side. If anything, it's just even more infuriating and I just don't like it. I'm just not a love triangle fan because like I said, there's always one character that I really want to like win and anytime the other character gets any sort of like affection or attention or anything, especially if the one I want to win has to watch it, I just... Oh. I just hate it and that's the thing with this that they do have to watch it because it's the selection and it's a competition you just have to kind of be okay with the fact that there's other people involved and I would not be okay if it was me but it is just approaching nine o'clock just now and I am going to start third book which is the one interestingly enough we still do not have a winner of the selection so I'm assuming in this one we're finally gonna get it and that's gonna be the one hopefully I really didn't think it would continue on until the third book and you would still not know who had like won this competition but it's well done, it's well paced I think, I don't think it's being drawn out too much, it's really fast moving and so much happens in each book so I'm not complaining. But yeah, I'm going to start this one now and hopefully, I mean I've got five hours so my plan is to hopefully finish this one and at least start the next one but we shall see. Hi friends, so I have just reached page 166 of the one so I'm um, again just at the halfway mark and it is 11 o'clock. So I have three hours, which makes me pretty sure I'm going to finish this third book, which is great. But I also think I'm going to start the fourth book. And what's annoying me already is I won't be able to finish it in the time, but I will have started it. It's not going to sit well with me, but it's fine. I'm glad I'm going to achieve my goal of at least getting three read. Again, I am really enjoying this. I'm enjoying these books much more than I thought that I would. I thought they were going to be a lot more like fluffy and not have the best of plot. Um, but there's so much more to them just than just the selection process. There's so much sort of like political and societal problems in it. And it's really, really interesting to read about, especially as everything unravels throughout the book. And it becomes clear quite how dark the society is that they're living in and how it needs to change. There's so many characters in this that I just love because there's so many female characters that I think are amazing because within things like this because you've got quite a although like I said before it's like set in the future a lot of things are quite backward and this whole selection process and like women having to like act as women or whatever is very backward but what I like to see is women working within the confines that they're in and still trying to do good and still trying to make a difference but knowing that they still have to kind of stay in their place but push the boundaries as much as possible if that makes sense which obviously isn't great they shouldn't have to do that in the first place but I like to see like them being intelligent and sly about what they're doing. Also like each book again is quite normal for a dystopian series just gets more and more like adventurous and darker as they go on and although like the selection process is still happening and it's still a huge part of the story there's a lot more to it and you find out so much more about everything else that's going on in this world and I'm just finding it very very interesting so I'm gonna sit just now and hopefully finish off this one and then I guess start the fourth one but I definitely won't be finishing it in the time that I've got. Hi friends so it's just coming up for two o'clock and I have just finished the third book the one in the selection series. I ended up doing a couple of other bits and bobs around about I needed a couple of breaks from reading so yeah, I've just finished the third one, but I am happy with that. I'm happy with reaching my three book goal that I'd originally set out for myself. So that's absolutely fine. This book, that ending was so tense, so dramatic, like so much happened in the last couple of chapters. It was just like insane but really good like I'm absolutely loving this series and yeah I need to watch some of the, the rant reviews to see why people hate them so much but I'm really enjoying this series for some reason and I love the relationship between America and Max and it's just really gets my heart going and the way that like she's wrapped up so many things at the end of this book I really really loved particularly with like friendships and relationships and things but the end of this book very much feels like the end of 
the series but it kind of feels like it was originally supposed to just be a trilogy like everything feels very tied up and then in the acknowledgements which I sometimes have a little read through at the end like the author is saying thanks for like following this America's journey with me as if the journey has ended so I don't know if it was originally supposed to be a trilogy because the next two then say as well 35 suitors one princess a new selection has begun so it's kind of as if, if as if it's like an entirely new series like almost like in a tv show like that was bachelorette bachelor season one and now it's bachelorette <laughs> if you get what i mean i'm not going to read the blurb just now um so i don't know if it's like completely different characters if they are related in any way i really don't know but it does feel like it's like a trilogy and then two books put on top but they've just been put into the same series so I don't know how like the political and societal questions are going to continue into the next two. I don't know. But yes, that was my 24 hour reading vlog in which I saw how many selection books I could read in 24 hours and it turned out to be three. I will be reading the next two probably, probably within the next few days. Like I'm going to be doing a weekly reading vlog after this so you'll see more of my thoughts about these books in those. But for now that will conclude this reading vlog. As always if you did enjoy this video then do please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe for more content from me, comment down below with any of your thoughts and feelings and I will see you in my next one. Thank you.